What's up guys? In this video I'm going to show you how to add a flashlight to the front of your drone. I use this $6 flashlight from Amazon. I'll leave a link to it in the description, but we're basically just going to strip it down to just the LED itself. Not only that, but I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, in order to have it linked up to the QX7 so that it can do this, we need only one extra thing. And that's this RealPit VTX switch. So this is supposed to be used for VTX, but you can pretty much use it with anything. Now, I don't have a 3D printed mount for this. I'm gonna be making one, and once it's, uh, once it's all set, I'll post a link to it in the description. But currently, I'm just using a 3D printed part that I wasn't using cut in half with a zip tie. And that's it. Another thing to note that I did use in this is this three pin cable. So the female end I put on the drone and then the male end I put on the flashlight. This way when I program it with the board, I can take it off and move it to another drone if I need a flashlight on the drone. So the way that I have this on is just a normal Phillips head screw. Take that out. And here is the flashlight. So to fully take this LED out, I'm gonna take the top plate off and that'll just make it easier to unplug it. All right, so I got that off. So now I can take the LED and as you can see, here's a little connector. So there it is. We have the connector on this side, this connects to the flight controller. Then I have the real pit. I put this in a little bit of a heat shrink. And then the other side is the flashlight. So this is basically what we'll be making and then we'll be taking this and I'll show you where I soldered it on the board. So first thing we're gonna do is take this apart. So I'm actually gonna save this because I took the other one and I drilled a little tiny hole in it. So now to make this even brighter, the LED falls right inside that and it is incredibly bright. So in the end, the TPU mount that I make to hold the flashlight will basically just be holding this. So this is the part that we need. The rest of it you can throw out. But we're gonna strip this down even further. So now it's basically just down to these two wires. This is trash. This is the board that's going to control the strobe function. And then this is the LED. So we can see on the board here that white is actually negative and black is positive. We can also just see the little plus that's right there and the negative that's right there. So I'm going to take these wires off. And then on the other side, we have this is the positive and the outer ring is the negative. Once I take this off, you'll be able to see it better. So I'm gonna take the spring and all the wires off now. All right, so now I'm just gonna take some uh, black and red wire. I'll probably only take about two inches, inch and a half, 
not much. Maybe even shorter, actually. Now I'm just gonna solder these to the uh, negative and positive on the board and negative and positive on the light. And I'm gonna have it kinda go over the board. I'm gonna try and keep these wires clean. So that's the positive. Now, the negative. Now I'm just gonna solder these two to the LED. Now we have the LED wired back up to the uh, power distribution board here. So I did these at an angle so that I could actually put them underneath like that. And same with this one. Now I can take this and actually twist it and keep the wires nice and clean. So to keep these together, I'm actually gonna put a zip tie around here. I'm gonna put a uh, coat king all on the inside and just make it so that this stays together. So I have this wrapped in a zip tie. Now to get it to stay together, I'm just gonna take some Coke King, make it waterproof, and this will actually hold it together. So I'm just gonna put Coke King all in the middle and let it dry. So while that's drying, we can get the real pit switch set up. So here it is. On the very top pad right here, we have the ground. Right next to it, we have the switch. So this is what we're gonna wire to the board so that we can control it from the uh, QX7 or whatever controller you're using. And then the pad next to that is the power in from the board. And then this pad right here is power out to the LED flashlight. So I'm gonna start soldering on the wires to this board. And like I said, I'm using one of these little butt connectors so that I can move it from uh, drone to drone. So I'll use this end. I'll probably only use that much wire. So we'll just trim the rest of this off. So this very top pad is the ground and that's gonna be the ground for... So this ground is gonna be used by two wires. We have the wire that's coming from the flight controller and we also have the wire that's coming from the LED flashlight. So both of those ground sources are gonna be soldered to this top tab right here. So what I'm gonna do is to make this a little easier. I'm gonna have the black one and I have another black one, and I'm just gonna get these two together. Like that. And now we'll solder this, like I said, to that top pad. So now this is the ground that's gonna go to our LED, and this goes to the flight controller. So next to the ground, we have this yellow wire. So that's gonna go to the pad right next to it. And then the power goes right next to that. And 
And then finally, this pad right here is gonna go to the LED. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did to this one. Take that off. I'll put some solder on it. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Perfect. So now just to keep that nice and safe, I'm gonna put this heat shrink around it. So now basically this can power it pretty much anything you want and you can turn it on and off so now let's hop over to a drone and I will show you where to connect in this the other side to this connector all right so here's the drone that we're gonna be putting it on this is basically the exact same drone that I have the other LED uh, attached to right now but this is a Matek F722 stack. This is kind of like my go-to stack for a good chunk of my drones. Uh, but we're going to be putting it on this one. So the pads that I'm going to use are right over here. This is the PPM pad. We have a 5 volt pad right next to it. And then we have a ground pad right next to it. Um, you could use the RX or TX on any of these. This one's going to my VTX. There's some down here that I use for other things. You could use the TX, RX, LED, um, PPM, you can use those pads to trigger the LED on and off. So basically the yellow wire. But the ones that I'm going to use are right here. So I'm going to put some solder on those and then we'll just get the connector on there. So... And then right next to it, we have the five volt pad. For this specific flashlight, five volts is all you need. Now we'll get the ground on there. And that's pretty much it. This is the connector that's gonna go onto the flashlight. So once that's drying, we'll be able to uh, plug it in and see if it works. All right, so I got the drone back together. I have the uh, lead for the LED coming out the side. This can just be tucked away when I'm not using it, but I have it out just so we can test it. We got the lead right here. Here we have the switch and the power leads that are gonna go to the LED. And here we have the LED. Now this is all dried, so this should be uh, completely stuck together. So I'm gonna take this zip tie off and we'll get those wires soldered on here and we'll test it out. The very center circle, this one, is the positive, and then this outer ring, that's gonna be the negative. So I'm gonna get those soldered on there and then I'll put some conformal coating to protect it. All right, so here it is. This is uh, pretty much it. All it comes down to now is uh, writing some code in Betaflight, switching that PPM to be a PinIO switch, and we're good to go. All right, so we have Betaflight open. I'm gonna plug the drone in. Okay. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to CLI, and you're gonna type resource. Now this is gonna tell you which pin you're gonna use. So in my case, I am using the PPM pad. So we have B09. So you're gonna to wanna to remember B09. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type resource PPM1 none. 
and that's basically just going to free up the B09 pin. Now down here what we're going to do is we're going to start writing the code for the uh, pin IO function. So what we're going to do is we're going to type set pin IO underscore box equals 40, 41, 42, 43. I don't know what these numbers do exactly, but just have to do it like that. Hit enter. Now we're gonna type aux 2, 40, 2, 1, 6, 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, 0, 0. And now we're gonna set the pin IO function to the PPM1 pin, or what used to be the PPM1 pin, which is B09. So down here we're gonna type resource pin IO one, and then we're gonna put the pin, so B09. going to type save. So now if we go into the mode section, we're going to see some options that weren't here before. So user one is the pin IO that we just set up. So if you uncheck this, I have those that enabled, but then you'll be able to see uh, user one, user two, user three, user four. And those are all things that just popped up once we did the pin IO function. So I'm just going to enable hide unused modes just so it's not taking up room. User 1 is going to be the mode that we just set up. So the best way to do this is since user 1 is going to be this, let's set the aux to auto. That's going to auto detect whichever switch we use on our controller. I'm going to use this switch right here. You can use any switch you want. Um, I'm just going to do this one because I don't have this switch mapped to anything. So I'm going to turn my drone on. and we have signal. So it's linked to the controller. So now on user one, I'm gonna set this to auto and we're gonna just flip this switch. So this switch is aux five. So now it's set up. So once I plug my LED into here, um, we should be able to turn it on and off with our controller. So now I'm gonna plug the drone in. like the light has power so now when I switch this down it turns off perfect all right so to end this video I'm just going to show you a quick little preview of an STL file that I've been working on for the LED and the projector lens I actually measured out how wide the LED is and I made this little cutout for it I made this cutout in the very back for the wires to go, but this hole right here is for the LED, and then this wider section will actually hold the um, projector lens. Hopefully. I don't really know what I'm doing in this program still. I literally downloaded this program like two days ago, and I learned enough to make this pretty much. I eventually want to make one that's adjustable so that it'll be able to adjust to the angle of a GoPro. And I would also like to make one that's universal for any drone frame. So keep an eye out for that. I haven't had a chance to print this or do anything with it. It's literally just been in this program. I have to change the size of these holes too. I have this one a little bit bigger. I want to see which one uh, fits better. But uh, yeah, I will leave a link to this STL file in the description as well as the flashlight that I stripped down that's going to be going in here. So that's how you strip down a flashlight and put it on a drone. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, like the video. Thanks.